Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm with my buddy John. We're here to review a movie called Knives Out. Yeah, it's a new release directed by Ryan Johnson, who did one of the crappy Star Wars movies. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> we saw trailers for it at the uh, theater months ago, and it looked interesting with the huge cast, but you kind of you always uh, come leery when you have a big cast like that because it could be crappy, but this was not crappy. Because I mean, you have Daniel Craig, uh, Kay Callen, uh, Christopher Plummer, Frank Oz, uh, you know, known as Yoda, and Miss Piggy, I believe he did. Uh, let's see, who else is in that? Uh, Co <laughs> Tony Collette. M. Emmett Walsh. Emmett Walsh, yeah. Uh, uh, let's see, a whole slew of characters. Don Johnson. People, yeah, Life Don Vice, Johnson. Jamie Lee Curtis from the yep. Halloween franchise, yep. which he's doing yeah. yet another sequel yep. of. Uh, so it'd be like Halloween Part Three this time for real, maybe. I don't, yeah. know. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, like with Frank Oz, he had his brother in there, Frank Blizzard of Oz. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, really good movie. It's the one of these who done it. Yeah, uh, I thought maybe it'd be more of a comedy, but really, what's a comedy is more of a drama with some humorous elements yeah. to it. Uh, who done it? But like uh, Chris, uh, this is you know in the trailer, Christopher Plummer dies, and they're trying. You know, it looks like a murder, so they're trying to figure out, uh, you know, Dana Craig plays a uh, private investigator who's yeah. helping the cops try to figure out who might have killed Plummer in the bedroom with a candlestick. I mean, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, it, of course, all the family are suspects, but it's really well done, and, and you think think you might know you know what's going on and then they pull the rug out from under you yeah it's really so he has some nice twists and turns it's you know it's not like again it's not a big comedy like clue or yeah. death or murder by death yeah. uh, uh, but it does have some humor stuff in it but uh, yeah a great whodunit type of movie uh yeah i was kind it's, of surprised it, how good it was yeah it's really cool i mean kind of vague because there's so much stuff i don't want to say a giveaway right. but it's fascinating I think going back on that whole nostalgia thing, like, similar to Get Out, good fan seat to Get Out because a guy, Chris Paul, died with a mystery writer in this family, and then Ready or Not, Ready or Not, something like it, huh? No, I mean, and they had, um, Ready or Not, that that family who made a board game, they were doing that, that killer version of Hide and Seek. Right. And stuff. Similar, I mean, kind of similar to that, but not without, you know. Just like it, really different. Yeah, same thing. And at the very end, uh, no spoilers, but the credits, they have, like, watercolor photos of, like, the actors and actresses. That was really cool. I think that was a throwback to the 70s, too. Yeah. Yeah, they did a really good job, and it's getting rave reviews all around from critics and audiences alike. And so it's like, oh, I definitely want to see it now. I mean, I was kind of interested, but like I said, you get some of these, like... Oh, uh, so many damn movies. <clears throat> uh, I think it was California Suite was, like, I think the first one I encountered like that, where you had all these big celebrities and... My uh, uh, parents took us to see it. And I'm like, man, this movie sucked. Of course, when I was a little kid. Maybe as an adult, I might like. You it. might like it now. It's not it more enough for a like kid. One of the crappiest movies yeah. I had ever seen. <laughs> but then there's other movies uh, I'm sure you've all seen where you've had a huge cast and like, no, oh, this sucks. I know, because but it was it was it. really cool. I liked it. I mean, keep it vague because there's so much stuff in it. And no sports and on. You know, um, I like. I give it a. Ten out of ten. It was really brilliant. I bet you it would get nominated for set design and made for script. I don't know if it's the original script or. Cause I, I I assume the Irishman will get nominated for best adapted screenplay, or you know, but on a book, you know, and then I don't know if it's the original screenplay or not, but it's really well done. I liked it, and it's weird seeing Daniel Craig talk in a southern accent, but yeah. I got used to that after a while. It was just a little bit weird at first. <laughs> So, I guess that's it for me and my buddy John. So, until Bye next time, please take care of my leech. All right.